In today's lesson, we'll explore how to represent a fraction using concrete modeling. Ah, uh, today was a good day. I didn't have to work. I didn't have to go anywhere. So what did I do? I went to the store and bought candy. Shh, don't tell my husband. So here I am just enjoying my awesome Hershey chocolate bar, which by the way is one of my favorite candies, when my cousin came over and said this to me. Girl, I know you're about to share that candy bar with me. Say what? I know you heard me. It sounded like you were going to come over and eat my food. Ha! Me? Never. I just said I wanted a bite. After all, sharing is caring. Fine. You can have what I have left over. So with that news, I had to split my Hershey candy bar with my cousin. So I decided to divide my Hershey candy bar into four equal pieces. Now I didn't tell her how much of my Hershey chocolate bar I would give her. Of my chocolate bar, I decided to keep three of the four pieces for myself and one of the pieces for my cousin. Here you go, cousin. You're only giving me one fourth of a candy bar? Wait a minute, pause that. What do you mean by one fourth? You heard me, you only gave me one fourth of a candy bar. That's a fraction. What a fraction is, it's part of a whole. Oh, I get what you're saying because I had a whole candy bar. Correct, and what you're trying to do is give me a piece of that whole. I got a deal for you. If you tell me a little bit more about this fraction concept, I might give you a little bit more of my candy bar. <clears throat> I like the way you think. So as we now know, fractions are a part of one whole. When you evenly divide your whole into parts, you get a fraction. You started with a whole chocolate bar, but yet you broke it into four pieces and saved three for yourself. Stingy. So you plan to keep three of the four pieces for yourself. How we write that is called a fraction. We write a fraction like this and each part stands for something. Your bottom number is called your denominator. Your denominator is how many pieces you divided your whole evenly into. Oh, I'm getting it now. So I divided my Hershey bar into fourths because I put it into four equal parts. Your top number is called your numerator. And that's how many pieces you actually have. So for me, you are only giving me one fourth of your candy bar. Oh, I see now. And I was giving myself three fourths of the candy bar. So did you learn something new? A little, but a question. How would I represent that, like in a model? Well, there are several different ways, but I'll show you two. One strategy is a bar model. And a bar model is just as it sounds. It's a model that's shaped in a bar. And what you'll do is you'll divide your bar model into equal parts. So I have four equal parts. And then I can shade in with a different color the fraction I'm representing. So in my case, I had one fourth of a chocolate bar. So I might color in one fourth of my bar model. So then when I draw it, I just need to make sure that it looks like that. When you draw a bar model, you'll wanna make sure that you divide the bar into equal parts. I like to first divide it always into a half, and then I can divide it again into fourths. If I were gonna go further, I could divide each fourth again into eighths and farther on. Now to represent one fourth, I'll color in one fourth of my bar. So this fraction represents one fourth. You said you were gonna teach me another strategy too. Yes, a number line. A number line is another great way to represent a fraction. You'll begin with a line and you'll divide it the same way you divided your area model, your bar models, into four equal parts for our one fourth fraction. So now you can see I have four sections. One, two, three, four. The thing with the number line is you'll wanna label each segment. So if it's divided into fourths, this would represent zero fourths. Going on to one fourths, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Four fourths is the same as one whole. So let me guess, I'll just put a line or a dot or something on the one fourth to mark one fourth? Exactly. So to represent one fourth, you can just add a dot. 
right on the one fourth line. That is another strategy that you can use to represent your thinking with a model. All right, you definitely taught me a lot more about fractions than I even realized. So I guess I can reward you with a little bit more chocolate. How about I give you two fourths of my candy bar? Two fourths of a candy bar? You mean half of a candy bar? What? I accept your chocolate and don't worry, cousin. Next time with me, I'll tell you why two fourths equals one half. Sounds like a plan. Okay, guys, thank you all for stopping by. Until next time, this is Math with Miss Jewel. And her cousin. Oh, right. Catch you next time.